the game thinks that I'm going to be worried about a heat, heat wave. The game doesn't realize I live in Cyprus. <laughs> uh. Hello survivors and welcome back to my channel. This is Survival Specialist. Here we are with another episode of Surviving the Aftermath. I am really hyped about making these videos. I'm really happy to be making uh, videos of this game. I really enjoyed the last episode. So let's get into it right away. Episode one, let's go load. All right, guys, so we're back in it. Yeah, I remember that we were not able to finish this emergency shelter here. So we have some people that have no shelter. Yeah, start the game. Oh, our... Is that, was that our survivalist that was ready? Odd. I don't think she is. Is she? No, she's not. Okay, yeah, she's here, and we have found this, like, metal over there that we could have gone to, but I prefer actually, like, unveiling these areas to see if we get any, like, these points, the science points. There we go. All right. How are we doing in terms of collection? Okay, that's pretty good. What about this? The food is good as well. We have the recycler in operation and the scrapper in operation. Operation, So we should be collecting as many of these four or five resources as possible for the moment. Food is not that great. We're definitely losing some food. But we don't have that many people free at the moment. So well, we'll be bringing back some food with the uh, survivalist. So... We should be okay. What do we need to complete this? Oh, we don't need anything. They just need to construct it. And there, they're constructing it. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Demolishing buildings. Okay, I guess we could learn about that, but I don't need to know that. Specialist ready. Yay. Okay, so metal is good, but how about you... Look to see what's here. Ah, tools. That's really good as well. Hmm. Okay, maybe we'll grab this in the next round and then explore this area. All right. Let's let that recharge. And... Yeah, I mean, we have another survivalist that we could send go out, sent out, uh, Pinkman here. But I like to keep one in the base in case those animals attack or something. Um, if you remember from the previous episode, we had killed some here and some here. Yeah. Okay. And I'm sure we can collect these planks. So if the next ones are finished, these ones, we can collect some from here. And there's some blueberries that we're collecting from here. Oh, there's more plastic here. Uh, there's plastic here. All right, all right, all right. We're doing good. We're doing good. And that's finished. So yeah, I mean, I don't think there is any other building we can build right now that will help us. Oh, specialist is ready for action. Let's go. Go on, specialist. Um, so she's going to take 18 out of the 13 tools. So that's pretty good, actually. Okay, and she found some money too. So there's 12 left. So next round, we'll send her back again to this building. So she will bring back 30 tools for us. So that will hopefully speed things up. Yeah, that's another thing. We could build these tailor and well, tool shop, I was going to say. Deposit depleted small concrete. So that is must be this one. Yeah, all right, there's still three more. We could potentially build the tool shop and the tailor and just leave them and not necessarily employ anyone in them that way we won't be using up the resources okay let's do that i think that's a sensible thing to do all right let's put one there beautiful then we can make a road no all right looks like we gotta go like that and down this way yeah Okay, excellent. And then, which one was this? Taylor. So we need to build the other one, tool shop. Okay. Um, here? Here? Oh, this is fine. Let's build it here. 
Okay. Let's go. Yeah, we're doing pretty good in terms of resources. Yeah. Alright. These should be built with no problem. Yep. 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 Yeah. Metal is the only one. Oh, no. We have that too. Grand. But once these are complete, we will not allow them to actually employ anyone. We'll kick that guy out. Pollution deposits. Yeah. Radiation deposits. We're going to basically collect those in the future. Specialist ready for action. Hey, awesome. All right. Let's send her back here. Wonderful. So now we can make her go here. Grab that last pieces of bacon there. How many? Two pieces. Eh, that's really not that much. Is it worth spending a whole turn on it? Maybe not. All right. We'll, we'll bring her back. Yep. Mm, that was like an unhappiness thing. I don't think we can do anything unless we find these uh, science points, really. We're stuck with the existing technology, so we really need to get our survivalists out there and looking for those points if we want to upgrade anything. Alright, because with the construction of this building finished here... Come on, finish. There we go. Let's unemploy that. That Those are the only buildings that uh, we're not employing anyone. And that's all of the buildings that we have. We could potentially build. So we got this plank left here only. Once that's complete, once that's finished, we, can, we have to move this work area elsewhere. All right. And our specialist is ready for action too. Move work area yeah collect these good let's see um yeah all right okay it's gonna take her two turns to come to home anyway so she could loot this and then next round we can bring her in excellent mm -hmm. and we still have plastic here we still have metal here so we're doing okay we still have wood here where's that trapper yeah, she's gathering stuff. An intruder has been spotted. What? They're about to get away. What? What intruder? Hungry mouse, busy hands. Your colonists suddenly approach you and drag you to one of the trees at the edge of the colony. Looking up, you can just barely see a faint silhouette among the brush. A silent thief, dressed like the animal who has poached some of your food. Demand your food back. Let them go. Attack the thief. Mm. They must be hungry. That's why they stole it, right? So, I'll be, uh, I'll do the honorable thing. I'll let them go. Okay, that has decreased happiness a little bit. You take pity on the desperate thief and tell them to keep the food. No one enjoys going hungry after all. Your colonists grumble, but head back to colony nonetheless as per your instructions. Ooh, everybody's a little unhappy at me right now. What what was I supposed to do? Not let them starve? Come on, you guys. I mean, last time <laughs> I took some cruel action in a game. The game brought that back to me and served it back to me like so bad. Of course, I'm talking about Frostpunk. Colonist hygiene. Yeah, outhouses. We built outhouses. All right. Yeah. And then what else? Is that, what is that? Is that a sauna? I think you could build a sauna where they can take showers and stuff. New day. Yeah, we're doing pretty good in terms of plank. And we're going to have some more food once that specialist brings in some food. And then we'll uh, research some food re technologies. And therefore, let's keep collecting planks if we can. Mm. Mm. Okay, maybe we should get these two pieces of concrete here. Alright, let's go to the specialist. Alright, bring it in, girl. Alright, excellent. So now she's going to be walking in through the door, right? Yep, there we go. Hello, and welcome back. You know what? You should go out right away. 
since you brought those resources to us, let's send her to look at this. Why not? Concrete. Okay. We'll search the next one as well in the next round and hopefully we'll find some more. We'll find any science points. Right now, we have plenty of food. Good. 143 pieces. Good. All right. That's going to last us a little longer now. And we have more tools. Maybe clothes is what we need next. Yep. Well, we have plenty of tools for everyone now. Ooh, weapons. Um, do we craft those from here? Tailor, tool shop. I think that's a new addition to the game since I last played. Oh, we could employ one more person at the gate. I would actually like to do that because you get raiders. Hmm. That's bound to happen at some point, but I don't know. Well, might as well just put someone else. We're doing okay in terms of resources, so I'm not that worried. Oh, heat wave. Woo. Intense and oppressive heat takes over the area as moisture evaporates. Colonists struggle to keep hydrated and cool while working. Plants wither in the cracked soil. Colonists drink double the normal amount. Crop yields and open fields. However, we don't have any fields. Build and fill water towers while stockpiling food to survive. We have, in fact, stockpiled food. That's going to strike in one day. So... How are we doing in terms of water? We have filled our deposits. Maybe we should go ahead and build a second one here. Water tower. Um, how about we build it like, I don't know. Um, all the way out here. Um, yeah, by the nuclear waste. That seems like a good place. <laughs> uh, yeah, put it here. Why not? for a disaster yeah we're preparing oh there's like electric storms as well yeah those are coming guys <laughs> have no very all right this guy is not ready yet you all right oh no she he is she is sorry there we go oh look she found like a camp a raider camp we could attack that and grab resources as a result of that there's like some fiber claws cloths there or fibers whatever the blue thing is but that's not what we want we want science points so we'll keep searching all right fair enough um huh? yeah they're building that right away pretty good pretty good oh group of survivors wonderful i have been expecting you one adult one children i'm assuming that one of them is going to be a Specialist? No? Turned hostile? What is that? Why are you turning hostile on us, man? We just accepted you. Are you freaking nuts? Get the specialist. Yo, yo, yo. Kill this guy. Run. This is new. This is definitely new. Wow. Kill, kill. Okay, this is silly. He's not attacking him. Oh, he is attacking him now. Good. Okay, he's dead. Um, This is what he's damaged. Go ahead and repair that, please. Okay, that's a shame. I was hoping that we could employ that guy. But we now have just... An extra child in our, in our hands. Alright, whatever. Okay, we have tons of water anyway, so... Press here, dead colonists. Who died? None of our guys died. That other guy, the, the one who rebelled died. Specialist ready for action. Wonderful. Can you go and look here, please? Come on, science! Yes, yeah, science. No science. Hmm. Maybe we ought to go here, but we're a little bit far away from there, so we'll just look like here first, and then maybe here, and then here, then there. Hmm. Oh well. 
The heat strike is really coming in. Very shortly. You guys can repair that really fast. Alright, let's see how that heat wave is going to turn out. Yep, yeah, there you go. There you go. Good job, buddy. Excellent. So does that increase our water production since we repaired that? No, it had no effect. Pardon me. Deposit depleted. Which one? Oh, the concrete. Okay. We need planks. More planks. Is that concrete as well? Yeah, okay. We'll collect that. There's only two left in that. Oh, that heat wave is coming soon. It's just raining. How can there be a heat wave? Oh. While it's raining, I was going to say. Eh, they should really work on that. Alright, let's go to our specialist. What up, survival specialist? Another one of these camps, and he's got bolts. Yeah, whatever these things are. Parts. Okay, they look like bolts. Alright, we're gonna go... Let's go here first. Yeah. That's gonna take her a few rounds. Alright. What was this? The green thing. Fiber. Alright, fine. Go there first then. How many is she going to pick up? She's going to pick up almost all of it. She might as well, yeah. And if she were to go here, she would pick all of it as well. I should have stopped there. Eh. Alright, we will on the way back. Heat wave is upon us. Damn. Alright, how are we doing in terms of water? We have tons, really. We're good, we're good. Deposit depleted plank. Okay, in that case, please go ahead and collect this two pieces of concrete from here. Alright, that's depleted too. One door full and... Is that... What is that? Concrete. No, we have enough concrete. I would like more planks, please. Wood. Is that wood? Yes. Um, let's make sure... That this area is safe. Do you see any of those rats or whatever they are? Mm. Oh yeah, good. We can collect both of them. So this is going to give us 41. This is going to give us 17. A lot of um, plant we can collect. A woman approaches you. She has some kind of an idea. One of the colonists, a meek woman you hadn't really paid attention to before, approaches you. She says there's something important she needs to inspect in the woods, but cannot really explain what it is. Hey, <laughs> I know where this story is going. It's something about mushrooms and medicine, but her speech is broken and she cannot find the right words. All right, whatever. You can go. Ooh, she packs up and wanders into the forest. It takes a good while before she returns, carrying glass vials filled with strange-looking mushrooms. I knew it. New mutations. This is good, she exclaims. It seems like you had a hidden mycologist, okay, in your midst this whole time. Okay, very good. We got some science points, guys. That's awesome. Yes! Now we can unlock things. All right. What is this? Survival skills. Hunting and fishing are some of the oldest survival skills known to man. The same tricks our ancestors used to fish and hunt in the Stone Ages are as valuable now as they were back in the day. Luckily, there are no mammoths or saber-toothed cats to worry about. Well, talking about mammoths... Willie is here, people. All right. Luckily, there are no mammoths or saber-toothed cats. Well, saber-toothed cats, that would uh, suck to worry about production speed 20 percent 20 percent hmm and that would allow us to get into basic farming we need 50 points for that what is that crowbars pulling old metal or stuck plastic bits apart with your bare hands is tough crowbars allow colonists to scavenge deposits faster without hurting themselves you know what that's good and this is good too what is this nurses and heavy tarps. I don't care about tarps so much, but nurses allow you to have more people working in the medical tents. Is that right? 
Work slots plus one, yes. And exploration. Okay, bartering or frontier posts. Bartering allows you to... Your colony is not the only one in the world. Other societies are still out there and are willing to exchange goods. Okay, so this is trading. I'm going to build a trade center from this and we can access the trade menu. But we haven't found any place yet. So that's not very important. Unlocks color. Did it, did, what is that? <laughs> oh, the coding got messed up here a little, guys. <laughs> oh, this is supposed to be like colored writing here, but that got messed up around a little bit. So uh, let's try to read that. Unlocks outposts used for establishing and maintaining on the world map. Expanding your colony's influence past its borders is essential for the colony's survival. Outposts allow to drop off their scavenged resources without traveling back to the colony. After dropping the resources off to, at the outpost, they are automatically transferred to the colony. Ooh. One outpost depot can support a single outpost. That's very good. I actually did not make use of these, but this sounds very useful, actually. All right, I'm definitely going to unlock this this time around. But right now, let's go ahead and unlock ourselves a survival skills um, tree. Yeah, survival. All right, that's going to take eight hours to research. Very good. And that leaves us 109 points of um, tech points, science points, science points. Um, is this guy ready? Yeah. No. Okay. We're doing pretty okay with the heat wave, aren't we? Yeah. We have tons in storage. Alright, looks like this is okay. Oh, specialist ready. Mm hmm. Okay, 50 pieces of fiber. Very good, very good. Okay, survival skills is ready. Our production did not go up. We're still at six. Okay, maybe you will in the future. Let's go ahead and... Oh, this is a tough choice here. We can unlock basic farming and we could have fa small fields. Or we could unlock this and get more resources. Ah... Uh. Well, you know what? We're going to find these, right? Let's do the research of the increased production speed now. Yeah, we're going to find points, I'm sure. Just because we haven't found it so far doesn't mean we won't. Okay. Hmm. We're building these things, we're extracting these things as well, um, which are not shown here. Junk, that's junk. Yeah, it's under parts, so we need to build another thing. I remember that now. Deposits depleted. Nope, that's still there. Oh, and that research is complete. I don't think we can research anything else right now since we don't have the points for those no and if we have the points we're going to go for basic farming anyway so we need to wait until we have uh, a little bit more up oh, specialist ready for action wonderful what's here medical things i'll take those medical things i suppose but we have quite a bit all right no we won't take those all right you're gonna explore this area next hmm I think the uh, there must have been one here, yeah, or here. Okay. I'm talking about like places where you can gather science points, guys. Mm, plastic is the only one that is low. We're doing pretty good in terms of plank. I love that. I love that. Yeah, stockpile is full. So why don't you store things at the warehouse? Bunker, okay. Store things at the bunker then, or the warehouse is completely empty. Could we... Oh, allowed resources. 
Eh. Um, do we build another stockpile or do we just limit the things? I'm just gonna build another one. Why not? There we go, stockpile. Um, let's build it here. Why not? Here? Here looks good to me, right? As good as any. Yeah, sure. Thor's all types have raw materials and construction resources. Cannot store food or m more delicate resources. Use stockpiles to collect planks and concrete from small deposits using the building's work area. Yeah, I've done that. I've done that. Do we have to use both of them? I don't know. Colonist Sophia is injured. That's fine, Sophia. In that case, go to this medical tent. There you go. There you go, good girl. Okay, Savannah is now an adult and our specialist is ready. Very good, Savannah. Get to work and let's go find our specialist. What's here, yo? Um, what are these um, components? Okay, those are useful. But no science points yet. Hmm. Shame. Very good, and let's also mark this to go here. Excellent, excellent. Our medics should know what they're doing. She's fine. Perfect. Oh, and the uh, heat wave is over. Great, great. The game thinks that I'm going to be worried about a heat, heat wave. The game doesn't realize I live in Cyprus. <laughs> uh, uh, it's like the whole summer is an entire heat wave. Which lasts for like five months. Mm, deposit depleted. Okay, let's move into another area in that case. Is that plank two? Yes, it is. Ooh, there's a significant amount of concrete and plank here, so let's do that. If you know this game, guys, let me know. Do I have to move both of these work areas, if I, or if I just move one of them, is it enough? Let's go to the survivalist, survival specialist. Okay, she cannot uncover any new areas this round so we might as well just uh send her to here to grab some of those components and then we'll take a look at here oh she found some cash as well good mm -hmm. all right all right How many people do we have working at the gate? Two. Good. <laughs> Alright. We have a lot more water than we started with, which is really good. We are going to be collecting a lot more concrete now. The only thing that is kind of like low is plastic and fiber, but I'm sure we'll be fine in those apartments too. Oh, specialist ready. Colonists want to talk. It's about a landfill. Two colonists approach you with a, with sparkling eyes. An old landfill has been found probably by the stench. It is not too far from here. Although the smell is absolutely awful, it might have kept scavengers away from 
there until now and valuable stuff might still lie amongst the waste. An expedition might prove lucrative but most definitely dangerous without any equipment. An extra layer of clothing and a set of tools would go a long way in keeping the colonists safe and efficient. Give permission and the equipment, give permission, decline the request. Go! You smell them before you see anything. A pile of garbage in vague shape of humanoid approaches the gate. A shouts, great success, yay! The landfill was indeed left untouched and the loot well worth the effort once it has been properly washed and rinsed. <laughs> um, we got three boxes and three pieces of plastic. These are fun boxes, building materials, entertainment products from the old world required by the entertainment buildings can only can only be found on the on the world map. Okay, that's good to know. Um, so we're going to be collecting those in the future, I assume, on the world map. Okay, we found a chopper, down chopper, that we could search for medical supplies. That's not really what I am looking for. You know what? I think we had enough of this area. I'm just going to send her back so she can scavenge the components here, then send her here to pick up the metal, and then send her to the medical, uh, to back to the city. Or maybe we'll search this area, and then come back to the city, and then go search this area too, because I'm at this point positive that the science points must be here, or like here, or here, because we looked all the way over here, and there's none. Okay, I think this is a good place to end the episode, guys. We were not able to do a lot of progress um, in this episode. We were not able to progress as much as I would have liked. But that's because the people we've accepted, um, that guy turned against us and we had to kill that guy. And that's a new mechanic that they added to the game. And it's pretty awesome, I gotta say. And... But despite that, we have grown our colony a little bit and we went it... We made it through a drought season, a dry heat wave season. We still have a lot of water left behind. I am totally enjoying this game right now. I'm really happy to be playing this game. I'm really glad that I picked it up. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like, guys. If you like my channel, consider subscribing to my channel. If you've got anything to say, you can comment down below. This is it for the moment, guys. Until next time, you stay alive.